Hi guys, it's Eclipse here, and today we take a look at the tanks that will be able to counter the new French wheeled vehicles within World of Tanks. Let's get into it and show you the first one. The first counter we have is down at tier 6, and it is of course the Snakebite, the tier 6 British light tank that has a top speed of 92 kilometers an hour yes this is going to be one of the fastest light tanks in the game if not the fastest even with the introduction of the new light tanks within world of tanks console so yes this one will be able to keep up with the new tanks as well as having a pretty decent weight behind it so that yeah you'll be able to ram the new light tanks which are fairly well they don't weigh anything so when you're ramming into them with a cromwell essentially Oh god, it's not going to go very well for them. So if you can manage to ram them, or alternatively just keep up with them and use the good DPM of the snake bite since you don't really need penetration with the snake bite against those French wheelies because they just don't have armor either, then yeah, you'll be able to have some really, really good game fighting them, especially when the first release of the French wheeled light tanks is around. And yeah, when you're ramming into them and just being an absolute nuisance, this tank is going to be fantastic. And it really is such a fun one to play down at tier six. The next one, similar to, of course, the snake bite, we have the Alfklarung's Panzer Panther, one of the best light tanks at tier 7, and if not, just one of the best light tanks tier for tier within World of Tanks, and it is, of course, this German tier 7, uh, which has basically a panther hull. You're kind of getting my drift here with regards to the tanks that you want to have up against these French wheelies. It's the ones with armor and the ones that have that bit of weight behind them to punch a hole, both ramming wise and also with the DPM. The higher alpha damage uh, light tanks don't typically do too well because if you miss your shot on the French wheelies they can really punish you hard and if you have a fast firing gun like the Alfklarung's Panzer Panther and also the um, the snake bite you'll be able to really push out that damage effectively against the wheelies uh, and so yeah I would really recommend this 72 kilometers an hour with a panther hole means that you can just burn everyone that you come up against if you manage to ram into them and even a lot of the medium tanks and heavy tanks a tier below will really suffer if you manage to ram them with this thing and with the right commander within the tank as well make sure that you have fuel on as well uh, enhanced combat rations and just make sure that if you do have spool liner on you've also got the perks alongside to really help it out as well make sure that you put traction system engine yeah this tank is amazing within the game and I would truly recommend it as a counter to those tier 7 annoying French wheeled light tanks. Then of course we have the Dreadnought KV-2. I don't think there's any real introduction needed here. It's a KV-2 that can deal 700 alpha with 250 millimeters of standard or premium penetration uh, and that's the round you're going to want to be firing. And then of course you have 86 millimeters of penetration which is more than enough to go through all of the French wheeled light tanks that you'll be meeting with this thing uh, having a 910 alpha damage. So I would 100% recommend trying out some of these high alpha uh, tank destroyers or alternatively the heavy tanks or things like the KV-2 down at tier 6 didn't make it into the list because I just feel like the Dreadnought is the one that is really going to be able to uh, pinpoint uh, rather than the KV-2 because the KV-2's aim time is just a little bit too bad at the minute so yeah the Dreadnought KV-2 it's, the, it's where it's at and I'm sure that if you're coming up against those tier 9 light tanks uh, and the tier 8 light tanks this will really punch holes straight through them and if you're coming up against the same tier or lower oh god you're really going to mess up their day with 910 alpha yeah i really do enjoy the dreadnought it's a fantastic tank and if you haven't already played it and know how broken this tank is yeah it can rack up 3000 damage easy with a tier 7 tank in just like what four shots with this tank yeah amazing the next pick we are going to be fighting fire with fire and of course we'll be using the french tier 8 light tank the vanguard it is a premium tank however uh, so you won't be able to pick this up for free but i'm sure many of you who watch these videos probably have a vanguard lying around somewhere in your account and this one really can push out damage quite nicely with the autoloader which can be really really influential against coming up against those light tanks 
because your clip potential will be able to dish out that damage really really quick and in quick succession which means that yeah you will be able to uh, outclip them in most regards and also the speed at which the Vanguard has 77 kilometers an hour here with the engine uh, upgrade for the equipment uh, obviously you can put fuel on and all of that benefit and also you have fantastic still concealment and vision range to be able to really outspot a lot of the French wheelies that are coming into the game so I'm sure this one will be really good for passive scouting and then in those scenarios where the French wheelies get a little bit too close you can go off after in with the auto loading potential of the Vanguard so I'm really looking forward to going in and trying out some of these in a video coming soon. In a similar manner we have the T-54 Lightweight which is another really really good uh, tier 9 tank and of course we're going up through the tiers here and following on once again from our usual statistics of the best counters is a tank that has the T-54 hole, the medium hole that can go 79 kilometers an hour. Obviously you can go even faster if you have advanced powertrain as well uh, but we've gone with a bit more of an all-rounder build, obviously gone with spool liner so we can ram those French wheels and I'm really looking forward to getting some compilations of just destroying the new French wheeled light tanks in a video coming soon that we mentioned earlier and of course having fuel on just making that speed more consistent throughout uh, means that this is really going to be hard hitting if you manage to catch hold of one of those French wheelies and make sure that you do have enough ammo in this thing uh, make sure that you load up some premium rounds for some of the harder kind of tanks that you might be facing in this thing uh, and of course you want all of the commander perks for the ramming build of course if you want to check out this tank in specific along with the Alfklorings Panzer Panther uh, you'll be able to see all of that on the channel previously so you can check those out uh, just going back through the gameplay and tank reviews playlist that we have on the channel then the big daddy at tier 10 the ultimate counter to the French wheelies is of course the FV4005 stage 2. This is the one shot potential for the tank destroyer line and yes the FV4005 will be able to at least one shot potentially the tier 9 and even maybe the tier 10 if you high roll with this thing and I think that this is going to be a really really fun one to test out and we'll be doing a video separately to all of the others about the FV4005 and using this uh, in addition to the new wheeled vehicles to see if we can have some ridiculous games uh, and just make a compilation of all of the French wheelies we managed to take out within the game so hopefully that will be to your guys liking and we'll see that very soon obviously the whole premise around the tank is just use that high alpha damage to hit those French wheelies use the accuracy make sure that we're hitting them and obviously we can swap around the rounds using the advanced uh, loading which allows us right here uh, to be able to swap around advanced reload which allows us to swap the rounds without costing us any reload time so we can essentially swap over to the HE rounds with 92mm of penetration to deal 1650 alpha to those light tanks and hopefully that will be enough to really take them out uh, and show them who is really boss at tier 10 even though the EBR 105 is probably going to be pretty disgusting anyway so hopefully you did enjoy this video obviously leave your own comments as to what tanks you would like to use to just destroy these new French wheelies and your kind of counter to them. Obviously there's always artillery which can just derp anything but yeah leave them in the comment section down below what you would be using and what you're gonna use uh, to kind of counter them in the game. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you want to check out some gameplay videos, if you want to check out those tanks and their full tank reviews and how you can set them up for the ramming build then make sure to check out the gameplay and tank reviews playlist on screen right now. Other than that there'll be the French wheeled light tank update news on screen right now as well so check those both out and make sure that you're ready for the French wheeled when they are in the game right now.